Making a kagiwik, you will need a 4 inch by 10 inch piece of leather, preferably deer hide, a 4 inch by 10 inch lining with pockets, 32 inches of double bias tape, 24 inches long leather string, three buttons for decorating, Glover sewing needles size 6, and imitation sinew thread. Here's my leather. I'm going to put it, my felt on top, the inside layer. Lay it on the leather exactly how I want it to be in the pouch. And then I have my bias, cotton bias tape for the outside. So I thread my needle first. Leave a little tail. And then on the end, I'm going to tie a knot. This is kind of cool knot. Bring it around so it makes kind of a circle. Lay the end of your thread on your needle like that. And then wrap it around five times. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on to that tight and just pull it down your string like that. And you always get a perfect knot at the end. So your buttons and leather tie strings on the front of your kikiwik. You lay your bias tape right side with the right side, the side you want out with the right side of the leather. This is the side that's going to be shown on the outside. So right sides together. This bias tape is double folded and so I've just opened it up. I'm going to leave these folds in there. But, okay, I'm going to leave um, about an inch on the end because I'm not going to start at the corner because um, corners are a little tricky, but I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to start down about an inch and a half. I like to sew from left to right. After all these pieces are lined up, so I have the bias, the leather, and then the felt. I'm going to do a running stitch. Come up through all three layers, then go back down. So I go over about a quarter of an inch, and I don't have my thread too deep here. It's probably about a, an eighth of an inch down, quarter of an inch. Bring it through. Pull it tight. Come back. Do your stitch from the back forward. Pull it tight. Go back down from the from the middle of the back to the bias tape. Pull it through tight. So now I'm almost to the end of this side. And I have this little flap here that I'm going to add my needles to. I'm going to lift that up because I don't want to tack that down. Keep going. I keep stressing this, but just... Um, <clears throat> pull your string tight. Okay, so now I'm at that corner. So I'm laying it down. And then I put my fingernail right on that corner edge. And then get the bias tape to be going the opposite way. And then fold that over and it tends to be kind of folded into a V. So hold that in place and then continue coming down and sew in that corner in. So we came around the corner and now we're coming on that top edge and I'm at the point where I have my little um, ties here. So what I'm gonna do is take the bias tape and I'm sewing right over it like that. So now I'm coming to the other edge here and I want this point to look just like that point. I want the tuck. So I put my fingernail down there at the, at the end, at the tip, and then I bring my bias tape to go the opposite way and see I have that excess 
um, bias tape pop, poking up, popping up. I'm just going to put it over, lay it flat, come to that point, and then hold my fingers in place to keep it in place. Make sure I tack that point down. And then I start working my way down the other side. Same, same thing as you have done with the other sides. Fingernail down, bias tape goes down that um, other way, 45 degree angle. Take that tuck. I'm getting close to the end and I had a little tail that was sticking out. I left an inch on the edge when I started. I'm, I'm going to trim that off. Because um, cause these corners, there's a, we have that little tuck and I don't, I don't want too much of that bias tape there. So I think this works out better. So we're coming to the edge. I'm going to take that and bring it down this way. So I have this corner again. Tuck and pinch. Here's the edge of that strip. I'm going to overlap about an inch. So cut it, overlap there. Come through this loop, bring it out, and then I bring my needle through a loop, and what I do is take my fingernails, and I come to the very end, the very edge, the pouch, and pull that through, and there's my knot. Okay, here we go with that bias tape edging. This bias tape now, I'm going to, I'm going to sew, use a hidden stitch and sew it all the way around. I'll show you how. I'm going to sew with a hidden stitch down the side here. And I'm using these clips as my, they help tack things in place. I love these things. So I'm coming through underneath and I am hiding my thread or my knot. And it'll be in the bias tape so you won't see it and this hidden stitch is so I, t I came in the felt and now I'm coming up to the bias tape and there's that um, there is that fold right there I'm coming right in the fold I'm taking my needle right in the fold about a quarter of an inch stitch, pull through, and then come down and take a quarter inch stitch through the felt. And then I come up where this, where my string comes out of the felt, I'm coming up into the fold of the bias tape. Going over a quarter of an inch, pulling it through, come down where that ends up, where the string ends up, take a little bite into my felt, quarter of an inch. 
make sure you pull your string tight. You pull it tight enough, you don't even see your thread. So that's what I mean by a hidden stitch. I'm finished. Place to put my needles. thread and I think I'll put these clips on here just to keep them there.